Today we are making vegan breakfast burritos and you only need a sheet pan to make them. Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. If you're new here, I make simple and delicious vegan recipes. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can see all of my content. One of the most popular requests I get for recipes to add to the blog is breakfast recipes that are savory and you also want to have a little meal prep, make ahead action in them as well. So I've been brainstorming for a while and I ultimately came up with the idea, or, or I guess at first it started as a thought. What if I can make breakfast burritos but do it all in the oven and offer flavor variations. So if you wanted to make this a stable recipe in your life, like a relationship, I guess, if you will, you could switch it up from time to time and never get bored. So I think I have nailed it. After several rounds of testing and way too many burritos, I have four different flavor variations all based around one recipe. It makes sense in my head. The full details are on the blog, which will be linked below as always. Um, but I'm also gonna show you in this video how I sort of break it down and how you can customize it. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll see how easy it is to adapt this recipe for like an infinite number of flavor variations or something you're coming up with on your own. So this recipe sort of follows a base formula and has a very similar process for all of the four flavor variations, but we're just going to be adding in a few extra ingredients to sort of customize or flavor it in a different way. So it all starts with a good tofu scramble. I normally make my tofu scramble on the stovetop, but for the sake of convenience and hands freeness, we're all going to be making it in the oven. So let me show you how to do that. First up, we're going to be making our oven tofu scramble. You're going to need a loaf pan or similar size pan for this. And we're taking some extra firm tofu and just crumbling it with our hands. I actually like to leave it a little bit bigger than I would like it because after you stir and after it cooks in the oven, it kind of breaks down a little more. Then we're adding in our seasonings. These base seasonings include nutritional yeast, garlic powder, and turmeric. And then we're also adding plant milk and a little bit of oil, which is going to help the tofu simmer in the oven. And it gives it more of a light and fluffy texture so this is kind of like my stovetop method, but we're adapting it for the oven. Now a burrito just can't be a tortilla and some vegan egg substitute. Obviously we need some breakfast potatoes. So all these burritos have crispy on the outside, well spiced, creamy tender on the inside, breakfast potatoes. You can do two flavor variations, which I'll talk about, but either really works for either recipe. So let's make those. I prefer to use yellow potatoes for my breakfast potatoes, but you can use another variety if you like them more. You're going to cube up your potatoes, place them in a bowl, drizzle a little oil on top, and then for our seasoning mixture, we're using salt, obviously, garlic powder, onion powder, and then you can use smoked paprika or chili powder, whichever you prefer. And if you want to, add some cayenne pepper for a little bit of heat as well. Then you're just going to mix everything up and then transfer the potatoes to the baking sheet. You wanna take up about two thirds the size of the baking sheet with the potatoes and give them some breathing room. This is going to allow them to crisp up a little more. So now I showed you how to make the tofu scramble and the breakfast potatoes. Now we need to talk about our add-ins and assemble all of our burritos. So I'm going to go through every variation and show you how to make it. The tofu scramble, I just showed a more classic version with sort of base seasoning. So you can always add on to that and you'll see in a few of these recipes, we are swapping or adding in a few ingredients. So let's get into all the variations. Actually, one more thing. For all the variations, obviously you need some tortillas. I'm just using flour tortillas. You can use gluten-free tortillas if you want. You can warm these on the stovetop, but again, since we're doing everything in the oven, I find the easiest way is to just quickly run each tortilla under some water, rub it around so there's like a thin layer of water on one side of each tortilla. And then however many you need, this recipe usually makes around four, you're just going to stack them on top of each other like this, pretend they're wet on a baking sheet and just pop this in the oven with your other ingredients for the final like one to two minutes and they'll get nice and soft and steamy and this makes them a lot easier to work with and fold as you'll see in the upcoming video. Obviously you can only roll one at a time so while the others are resting just cover them with a damp kitchen towel or paper towel so they remain warm and nice and pliable. First up, I'm going to show you how to make our classic burritos. I feel like if you're going to get a breakfast burrito somewhere, this is what it would most traditionally contain, plus some little extra veggies. So in addition to our tofu scramble and breakfast potatoes, we're just going to add some veggie sausages and cook those for the first half 
of the cook time. And we're also adding some cheese to our tofu scramble. I like to add it at the halfway point. And then once it's finished cooking, add some black pepper on top and mix the cheese in before I form my burritos. So once you follow the recipe, the potatoes are nice and crispy. We can go ahead and assemble. I'm using aluminum foil and parchment paper, but you could use either or, whatever your preference is. Place your warm tortilla on top, and then we'll place the veggie sausages on the bottom. I cut mine in half so they would lay better. Top it off with some fresh spinach, some of the tofu scramble with that added cheese in it. And then we'll also add our breakfast potatoes, of course, and optional, I like things a little spicy, so I added some hot sauce as well, but if you don't, you could totally leave it out. Then you're just going to roll your burrito up, and that's how you make the classic burrito. To me, this is the most quintessential burrito. I love the combination of flavors. It's a great source of protein because of the added veggie breakfast sausage, and look at those layers. I will say traditionally, there's probably not spinach in it, but I just can't help myself. I like to get a little bit of greens in every meal. Speaking of greens, next up, we're going to make the spinach and mushroom burritos. So proceed with the standard recipe as written, but then in addition to the breakfast potatoes, we're also going to be roasting some mushrooms in the oven. So after you transfer the potatoes to the baking sheet, just add the mushrooms to the same bowl with a little bit of oil and salt, mix it up, and then we're going to transfer these to a baking sheet with our breakfast potatoes. We're going to keep these on only for the first 15 minutes of baking. And then once we flip the potatoes and mix the tofu scramble, we're actually going to take them off because as you can see here, they shrink down pretty well. And I like to do it in the first half because it allows the potatoes to crisp up a little more rather than if you're doing it in the second half, the mushrooms are gonna release a lot of moisture and steam into the oven. So this is the best process for optimal potatoes. Also for this recipe, I like to add a little bit of vegan cheese so you can stir your eggs at the halfway point as the recipe directs and then put some mozzarella style cheese on top and then mix it in at the end. And then again, to assemble, have your warm tortilla, top it off with some fresh spinach. We're going to put some mushrooms on top as well. Add your tofu scramble, add your breakfast potatoes and roll it up. I actually am watching this and realizing that I forgot the breakfast potatoes for this burrito, but you definitely should include them. So that's a little bit of an oopsie on my end, I guess. All right, so you'll cut it open, look at the inside. Wow, I really cannot believe I didn't put potatoes in this and I'm just noticing now. <laughs> okay, anyways, moving on, our pesto burrito. We're going to modify the tofu scramble a little bit and add in some dried basil and sun-dried tomatoes again with our other base seasonings and then cook this in the oven as normal as you can see it gets nice and seasoned i don't like to add the pesto in the oven because it definitely loses flavor as it cooks so i prefer to just add it directly to my burrito if you wanted to you could also stir it in with the tofu scramble um, to get it more evenly distributed among the eggs as well but we're just having our pesto our fresh spinach tofu scramble crispy breakfast potatoes, and I just add another dollop of pesto on top so you could visually see that there's pesto in it, but you know, that's optional. Unless you love pesto like me and can never have enough. And roll it up, add your label. I mean, you don't have to label these, but I made multiples and it's actually really nice if you store them in the freezer to have these labels so you know which one you're getting. Here is the lovely cross section. We've got some greens, we've got some proteins, we've got some potato weens. I am just cracking the jokes today. Don't know if any of them are landing. Last but not least, we're making our Tex-Mex burritos. Again, we're gonna modify the tofu scramble. We're actually replacing the plant milk with salsa. So this is gonna add a little bit more flavor and still keep the scramble pretty nice and fluffy. And then in addition to our breakfast potatoes, we're also going to toss some bell pepper and jalapenos in the same bowl with a little bit of salt and oil, and then just add them to the sheet. These can bake for the full 30 minutes so they get nice and soft and tender. And if you are sensitive to heat, just remove the seeds from the jalapenos if you don't want to add a little bit of spice. But as you can see, our veggies get nice and cooked, our potatoes are nice and crispy, and our tofu scramble is nice and seasoned thanks to that salt. So that's like my ultimate hack to add a flavor. So for this variation, I would definitely cook your potatoes with chili powder just because I feel like it aligns more. And I also added some avocado to this burrito in addition to all of the other things we prepped. That is optional. I do find that avocado, like if you're serving it right away, maybe add the fresh avocado, but I don't love it as much once it's reheated. So you could also just serve it with like guacamole or avocado on the side if you still want to enjoy that extra added creaminess, but don't want cooked avocado. 
So that's it for our Tex-Mex one. It's very filling. I love the color scheme in this one. You got a little bit of everything and it's great when you're looking for a nice hearty burrito fix. And that's it guys. It's actually so easy to make and I feel like once you grasp the basic concept of potatoes, scramble, add-ins, and assemble. It's super easy to customize this. Like I have a Tex-Mex burrito right here. If I wanted to add cheese to the scramble base, I totally could. If I wanted to do different veggies, I totally could. If I wanted to add in spinach, that's very easy to do. So if you sort of think of it as units that can be tweaked, I think the whole recipe comes together super easily. And these are great for meal prep too. I have full reheat instructions on the blog. These babies are a little dense because you know we want them to be filling. So I will say they take a while to reheat from frozen, but if you're eating them within a few days, I would actually recommend just storing them in the fridge. They won't get too soggy, and then you can reheat them in the oven or toaster oven. Obviously they're wrapped in tin foil, so you know, don't put them in the microwave unless you want an accident to happen. Or maybe you could just wrap them in parchment paper or something if you were planning on doing that. Though I will say the oven is superior for like that crispy outside, warm inside. The microwave just kind of makes things chewy, you know? Again, this recipe is linked in the description of this video. Make sure you go to my blog to check it out. You can save it to Pinterest. And if you're not following me on TikTok or Instagram, go ahead and follow me there as well because sometimes I post new recipes that don't always make it to the YouTube channel. So if you want all of that yummy content, you gotta follow that or, you know, subscribe to my email list on my blog. That's a good option too. I am going to go enjoy the rest of my burrito. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any requests for future content from me, please leave a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. That's very helpful to me and the algorithm shenanigans. And other than that, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I look forward to virtually seeing you in a future video. Bye.